Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be going through quickly with three awesome useful tips and tricks for Excel Novice users. So the first thing we will be going through the wildcard conditional formatting to highlight the total raw. Then we will be applying a quick sum for multiple ranges in a particular column and then the sum is found. So let's get started. We have a data here as you can see that there are different columns to it and the data contains uh, the rows of total rows. Okay? And what we need is we need to highlight the entire raw based on conditional formatting which consists a word total. So for that, what we will going to do is we will select the entire data. Okay. After selecting the entire data, you will go to the home tab where you can find conditional formatting and you have to click on new rule. Okay. So once you click on it, a window will open and you have to click on the last option that is use a formula to determine which cells to format where you will be applying the logic. So we will gonna say here is equals to count if and we will be picking the first cell of our data which is starts from a16 we will make absolute column but not the raw okay and then we will say uh, the criteria is inverted commas static we are looking for total word again static inverted commas and bracket close so if any specific cell contains a total word in any position it will get highlighted so we have to select the color for highlighting the entire raw and the font type and let's click ok so now as you can see we have applied uh, the conditional formatting based on wildcard for all the rows which has a word total so instead of doing it manually, you can use conditional formatting that can save uh, your time. The next thing is that now we need uh, to sum each total according to a different uh, ranges. Likewise, if we go manually, so the user will do like sum first number, then going to the next total and then looking for the next range, then going to the third doing sum again manually selecting the ranges and doing again the sum right but I mean this will take a time you have a very large data and we don't need to do it manually so we need a technique here so we will select the entire data again uh, with the headers and we will apply the filters option so you can go to data and click on filter button okay now what we need to do is open this column one filter and you can go through filter by color because we know that all the total rows is in blue color or you can go with like text filters you can select contains and you can write total okay so what happens all the total rows are now visible okay so the next part is we have to select the entire column of amount okay and we need to select the visible cells only Okay, so for doing that you have a shortcut key alt semicolon okay this is the first shortcut key or you can go to home tab then click on find and select then go to special uh, where you can find visible cells only option okay so there are two ways to do it so once you have selected all the visible cells now you have to again press a shortcut key that is alt equals to so now excel is doing uh, and applying the subtotal function on our behalf okay and within few seconds it applied on every cell now we need to get rid of this filter so we'll go to data and again click on filter option and that's it we got the uh, quick sum for multiple ranges and that's correct right so this is how you can use these techniques now, the hc invoice which is the amount column with these headers which are in the pen column okay so for that uh, we will be using sum if function so the sum range will be the amount column now instead of selecting this 
manually what you can do is you can convert your data into a table format that will create a structured references if you know about it that would be handy for you otherwise you have to go manually and selecting the columns okay now the pen column till the end and then the criteria okay and copy and paste that so this is how we have applied some useful tips which novice users face day in day out in their work so i hope you have got these techniques handy